Hello everybody and welcome back to a bit of eFootball again on the uh, the Let's Play channel because I am loving Dream Team right now and we have gone up to Division 4 in the last episode we did go and uh, get into Div 4 so I'm expecting this to get very, very sweaty here like uh, me myself to get sweaty and the gameplay to get sweaty I'm expecting weird formations people to do the kickoff glitch uh people to be like just cheating the game i'm not one of those players you won't see me doing the kickoff glitch you won't see me getting annoyed and like well i might get annoyed but you're not going to see me trying to cheat the game we're going to play it properly and our four two three one we're settling in well we've got it all going not too much to report since last time we've been ranking up some people um through some games we've been playing we've brought in one more player which is Skamaka, who currently plays, I didn't want to do that, I wanted to show you him, who currently plays for Sassuolo in Serie A. But why I've brought this guy in, for one, he's under 24, wonderful stuff. Uh, his live update of a D isn't very good. However, at 195 centimetres, he's an absolute giant and he gives us a different option when he hopefully does come into a bit of form. Uh, we're going to need to train him up. We're going to need to get all that stuff done. But he is also a super sub, which is something we don't have in this team. He's not going to be playing today. I mean, we could put him on the bench. Luke has been doing pretty well since he's been ranked up. But maybe we do, maybe we give him... Do we put Skamaka on the bench? Who can we drop here? I mean, Eze can play either wing. Saar can probably play either wing. Let's drop Saar. We'll put Skamaka on the bench just, just in case... He has some sort of form. We need to bring him on as a striker. But let's crack into a game. That's the only sub we've we've uh, purchased or the player we've purchased. So we'll go and hunt a game out for our first one in Division 4. And we'll be right back. Okay, so we found an opponent. Remember, we're in Div, and Div 4. They are in Div 3 and have a very good team. 2,554 collective strength. So the fact they're in Division 3 means this is going to be even tougher. So we'll see how this goes. They're obviously based in Asia, judging by the language that they've used to name their team. But uh, they've got Xavi in there as well. They're, but they are playing in white, which means we can go in the lovely, lovely third kit of the uh, blue and gold sort of colours, which is... I just love it. It's the kit I want. It's the kit I most want right now in my life. So here we go. How are we doing for form? So we've got Martinez is down. Vlahovic is down. Doku's okay. If you haven't seen the last episode, go and watch it, man. It, he was just absolutely ridiculously good. Okay, Skamaka is right down, so that's not going to be very helpful. However, we will start Nunes up front. Why not? We'll give him uh, a little run out. Uh, Ibanez does have a bit of form on his as well, so he can come into the middle. That's not too bad. Everyone else is looking okay, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't... I've just realised I've not put... Gravenberch in, which could be a little bit irritating because he, he's better than Lokonga, but Lokonga's not let me down. Anyway, that's how we're going to play. Let's go and check out his team. He has Chesney, Azpilicueta, Varane, Alaba, Digne, Vieira, Xavi, Rivaldo, Forlan, Neymar, a, a special Neymar, and uh, Mares as well. So, okay, he's got a good team. He's got a very, very good team. That central midfield of Vieira, Xavi, and Rivaldo is going to be very tough to break down. I'm just thinking, let's try and go individual instructions, defense, man marking. We'll get Camavinga, and I'm not sure how well this is going to work, to man mark Rivaldo. It's tough. Let's see how it goes. So here we are then, ready for the game, and um, we might get absolutely spanked in this, but a couple of episodes ago, I got absolutely spanked in an episode, and I kept it in. And I was like, you've got to see the good times with the bad, haven't you? In last episode, we had a great time with Jeremy Doku. Uh, the time before that, we got absolutely smashed. So let's see how this goes. So he was already running a player back, thinking we were going to do the kickoff glitch. So I think he's going to be uh, a kickoff glitcher as Gomez. Oh, I couldn't quite flick that one on. Camavinga's there. Ibanez. Right, let's just uh, try and keep the ball. Move it around a little bit. Let's see how he's going to defend this. So, Lacroix up to Camavinga. Gomez back to Camavinga. Open up that space. That's nice. Elanga. Knock it back to Camavinga. That's a good run from Musiala through the middle. Don't stop your run, Elanga. That's it. Elanga looking to just cut in field. He was, oh, he was standing me up there. I probably could have got round him in a with a fake shot or something. As Elanga's just pulled him back and... I haven't really got a read on how this guy is going to be defending. 
All right, in he goes. Here's Rivaldo, Camavinga, all over the back of him. Totally fine. As long as you don't get sent off, I don't mind, Cammy. I don't mind that at all, Camavinga. He's straight in there on Rivaldo, not letting him get any sort of time on the ball. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, he gets Rivaldo in it. Now, Neymar, I am very worried about because it was uh, quite a special looking Neymar card, to be honest. Oh, I could have got that one. Get in there, Camavinga. Yes, lovely. Now we break. Now we break. Oh, no, Nunes, you were making the run and then you stopped. He's managed to keep it alive. Out to Alanga. Can't keep it in, though. See, now he started on blue. He's gone slightly defensive, which is uh, an interesting tactic when you've got the much stronger team. Musiala, what an interception. Musiala, he's bought the keeper out. It's 1-0. Come on. There we go. Musiala read the interception. He read that pass. And as soon as he started bringing the keeper out, I knew that a powerful like special shot or whatever it's called stunning shot wouldn't be intercepted and Musa had read it so well got round the last man in David Alaba and then fires it home and is he going to go for the kickoff glitch no he's not okay he's not going to go for the kickoff goal fair play to you mate but you have absolutely diddled me there with Neymar but Lacroix comes over and he ain't taking any prisoners here as Lacroix comes forward with it and uh, we're just going to sort of recycle this because I do not want to be running up there with my centre-back. Musiaya holds off Neymar. Lovely. Diego Delo out to Duca, who's bringing back his tricks and stuff again. He is so much fun to use. Uh, has that got through? It has. Musiaya into Nunes. Nunes. Oh, I did the trick at the wrong time. I did the double touch too early. Uh, it gave him plenty of time to read that possession. Let's see. Yeah, I, I tell you what, I quite like... We, we've got a bit lucky from the interception and the goal, but... He's actually... Oh, Dooku's in. Dooku! Oh, I've put it wide. I haven't improved his finishing at all. It's all gone into dribbling and pace. Oh, and that should be two. It should be two, Jeremy. Oh, I think man-marking Rivaldo has been a bit of a masterstroke because he hasn't got him on the ball at all yet. I saw you trying to cut that pass off there. We're, just, we're happy to just move this around the back four until the space opens up. There it is, into... Alanga uses momentum against him. Oh, he's got a little foot on it, a little git. But yeah, this guy, he's, he's a good player. He's a patient player. And I, I do, I respect that. I respect that a lot as that's the first time Rivaldo's really got away from Camavinga. Oh, Sergio Gomez absolutely dived in there. And uh, he's trying, you can see, he's trying to create the space. And Camavinga's got lucky because he absolutely did Camavinga there with a little dummy. As uh, Doku, what, what, what tricks he's got in his locker today? Nothing up against Patrick Vieira. That was wonderful defending, to be honest. As uh, Rivaldo is now on the ball. Oh, yes, Camavinga. Well read, son. Well read. He can be quite the defensive uh, rock when we need him to be. Doku on the ball. Sees the run of uh, Musiala. He's not going to get it up. It was connected to the wrong person. Musiala could have been in. Oh, that's an interesting deflection there. Nunes will keep it alive into... Doku, the man with all the tricks, can't get past uh, David Alaba. Although he can win the ball back really, really well. And Doku is going to win the corner. Lovely. So Sergio Gomez is on it at the moment. We're going to go to the train again and see what we can do here. So I'm going to fire this one in. And uh, Gomez puts in Doku with a header. It's not the man you want heading the ball. His heading is absolutely dreadful. And uh, I'm not too sure why. I don't think our centre-backs came up for that one, which is a bit of a concern because I think I've got them selected to come up. Gabby gets beaten to it by Rivaldo. And he's, uh, he's moved that across well to the left-hand side. And what he's done is he's played that straight into Doku, who's taken a lovely touch. Let me see, into Nunes. It's got to be a foul ref. It is a foul. Now, we don't really have a set-piece taker in our team. And now that we've dropped Beckham, obviously, for being too old, yeah, we don't really have one. Sergio Gomez is 68. And Musiala is a 68 as well, I think. Who was on the better form? Yeah. Let's go. Hang on. Oh, it's not going to let me. I'm sure he can move the goalkeeper, but let's see what happens here. Into the wall. We'll take the corner. Need to select it onto uh, Musiala because he's got up form as well. So he'll probably be a little bit better. Let's try this one again. We'll go Sergio Gomez in there. Swing it in. It's caught. Oh, it's going to bounce around. Oh, he spilled it. Doku. Oh, my word. What happened there? Why did nobody pounce on the poor goalkeeping from Chesney? And Neymar is going. What's he going to? He's got caught on the ball again there, Neymar. And not a good pass from Doku into uh, Musiaya. But we are playing very, very well in this game against a very strong team. And from a guy who's in 
the division above us, I think he was. And I think he's, I think I said he was Div 3. As uh, he moves that one on well. Oh, Neymar's going to have the pace. Oh, he's done the Neymar turn. He's done too much. He's fired it home. He's done really well. 1-1. One, one. Just as I was saying how we had the lead. And that's the thing with Neymar. Great little flick inside. And uh, he makes it 1-1. One, one. And fair play to him. He's taken his one chance we've given him, really. Uh, we've kept Rivaldo quiet. But the player like Neymar, you give him a chance, he, he's going to put it away. So we're not going to change anything for the, uh, for the second half. We're going to just... See if we can uh, keep this going. And oh, look at this. It's the first time Rivaldo has got into any sort of space. And I got the ball. And then the AI has given away a free kick there. And this is going to be horrendous because he's got so many free kick takers in his, uh, in his arsenal. I don't know what to do here. I think we're going to have to move the goalkeeper. He's going to set up a two man wall to see if I take over. What's he going to do? Is it going to be Neymar or Rivaldo? I mean, I would use Rivaldo from here and he has and oh it's deflected yeah I, I would have used Rivaldo I would have used the left footer from there but it's into the wall we did move the goalkeeper as well so not too bad I think feel like we had it covered is this guy has he got a cheese corner that's the question has he got a cheesy corner that he can use he's sort of iron one up here he's got four seconds to take it and he's gonna go that's oh my god that is a cheese corner 100%. The fact that he's made the goalkeeper save the ball from there. Musiaya. Oh, it's a heavy touch. Heavy touch. I shouldn't have sprinted. This is a game where you've got to have full concentration. And it definitely could be one where having the comment, like doing commentary at the same time, that's terrible from Forlan, could, uh, could hinder me. Could hinder me here. But Bayinda in goal is playing uh, reasonably well. I say Neymar scored that one goal with really his first opportunity in the game. But, yeah, we're not. We're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad, right? You've got to keep positive. Doku into Gavi. Plenty of space opening up here. Nunes tries to go back to Gavi. Gavi cuts inside. Gavi shoots. Gavi scores. It's 2-1. That's a lovely, lovely goal. And it built up from the goalkeeper when I just started like talking last time. And that is superb. It was, oh, it was all down to Doku again. He did a lovely piece of skill that I'll try and show in a sort of, you know, manual replay um, in my highlight section where he just absolutely got round some pressure from the AI. As uh, Gomez looks to come forward, plays it straight into the winger. Elanga's there. He'll have a little touch to keep this alive. Goes back to Kamavinga. That's not where I wanted that to go. But, oh, Musiai brings out... A little trick or two as well. Gavi looks at the danger man, Doku, and he's uh, trying to just trick his way around it, and he's not quite done it. Kamavinga keeps that alive. Gavi. Gavi, oh, that was a f no, that's not what I wanted to do. I was hoping to do a little dummy shot, and that uh, didn't quite pull it off, but what can you do? Doku can't quite block that, and he's played it out well to the wing. Diego De Loco storming in. And I think it's a free kick. Here he comes. Mares on the right hand side. Does that little turn again. It's a it's a lovely turn, but he's desperate to do those stunning shots, which are just gonna take up too much time in those positions there as Gavi comes forward with it. Go on, Doku, go on, Doku. Oh, I just couldn't. Gavi is turning into such a little playmaker for us. It's it's really, really good to see. I love the fact you can invest the uh, the points wherever you want them to be. And there is Neymar. He's gonna try and get that one into Forlan, who does turn and shoot. And uh, it's very easy for Lacroix to just take that off his feet. And Musiala, I think, oh, couldn't quite get it out of my feet. As uh, Neymar has it there. I think that's that's got to be an accidental trick, that one. Camavinga, great interception again. Just stopping it from getting through to Rivaldo. And Doko has put the ball through to Nunes. Nunes, oh, I've pressed the wrong button. But Nunes is still battling his way through. Top corner, what a finish from Darwin Nunes. He's given the keeper bloody no chance with that one. What a left-footed rocket into the top right-hand corner of the goal. And it's 3-1. And that has come from Kamavinga robbing the ball in central midfield. And I think it's another assist for Doku, who is very, very quickly turning into my favourite player in this game. Like, it's just ridiculous. Gavi, great tackle there again. He can play this one up to, uh, to Nunes. Nunes just buying his time. He knows, I, knows, I don't need to rush. Get it back, Nunes. Go on. Unlucky. Unlucky. Right. 3-1. We're going to go on to a little bit more of a defensive mentality as well. Camavinga trying to get round 
Forlan to nick the ball back. But again, it's a very, very, very good performance here as Vieira on the ball into Mares. I think that is. Ibanez reads it well. We can just go back to the goalkeeper and we're going to try and ping this one out to Duku straight away. Lovely, lovely touch. And oh, he's done it again. Duku having an absolute blinder of a game, and I've not even I've not even had him on top form yet, like on an up uh, blue arrow, and I cannot wait to experience that. It's going to be absolutely superb, Elanga. That's a terrible touch, but carry on going, son. You're in. It's a good shot, a good sliding tackle as well, and the keeper has had a terrible punch. And Doku, oh, terrible effort. Right, we'll make a couple of changes just to keep it fresh and make sure we're getting everyone some experience points when they can get it. We're actually going to... Oh, I'm not going to take off Gavi, actually. He's on and up. Uh, we will bring on Eze for Alanga on that left-hand side. We'll do Dodo for Delo as well, just so that we keep it defensively fresh and have some fresh legs on. And I think we'll leave it there because everyone else is playing so well. Darwin Nunes has been superb as well. And, uh, yeah, what a performance this has been. What a performance. Oh, Dodo with a terrible... Uh, Crossfield pass as he's just come on and Forlan has punished him and it's 3-2. Dodo's first involvement was to try an absolutely ridiculous crossfield pass which was never going to work. Easily intercepted and it's 3-2 with four minutes to go. I mean this would be quite a good victory if we hold on so I really don't want to throw this away. As they He's gone to attacking now. LaCroix up to uh, to Dodo. Can, nah, I mean he's gonna, he's, if he's going to press like that it's going to be easy. Doku, he's got the pace. Doku, still going. Cuts it across. Terrible cross. Easy for Chesney to dive on that one. And he's gone for a long throw. Get there, Gavi. Gavi does get there. Lovely. Musiaya looks to dink it over. Into Doku. Oh, couldn't quite get there. Dodo's pushed incredibly high up, even though we're on defensive. As uh, Gavi's there. And we may just have to start giving away a few little like professional fouls to stop counter-attacks here. Camavinga, I tried to, actually won the ball. Nunes. And that's it. It's game over. 3-2. What a win. I was so involved in stopping his attacks that we I didn't even look at the time. 3-2. What a win that is. Superb. I mean, and you can argue we were the better team throughout it. Like, nine shots to his four, five on target to his three. We gave away a few more fouls, but we were bloody superb in that game. So we did get a few training points we can use, and most importantly, Doku got some more as well. And this boy is looking absolutely superb. Let's go and see. I mean, we are maxing out quite a lot of things that he's got. I'm, I'm quite tempted to put them in here just to give him 99. It might be a bit of a waste given that he's already on 97. I mean, yeah, passing we've boosted by 8, and that's not amazing. But at the moment, we don't really... Need it. I'd rather keep boosting his uh, his sort of speed and his dribbling. I think let's put it in there to get his offensive awareness to 70 uh, and go from that. He's an 82. Is that going to boost him up to an 83? Not quite. It keeps him as an 82. But yeah, Camavinga as well. We've learned there, man marking an attacking midfielder can do absolute wonders because he did not get Rivaldo on the ball at all in that. So we're going to boost his... Um, is there a man marking stat? No, I assume it's defensive awareness that it counts as. So let's keep boosting Camavinga and Lakonga and Gravenberch as more of our defensive players, which I think would be amazing. Uh, and then we're going to go and look at some players that were recommended in the last episode. So uh, we will do that as well. Darwin Nunes, what a goal. He, what a goal he scored. Absolutely unbelievable. And let's put you on... Um, yeah, I don't know. What do we want to put you on? What do we want to put you on? Physical contact's good. I'm sort of thinking we could boost your dexterity and try and get your offensive awareness up a bit. Let's go for a bit of that. It means you'll make better runs, I think. That's what that should do. So, yeah, he's coming along nicely. And I think that was it in terms of upgrades. So, yeah, players that were recommended. Let's go and have a look. Uh, first up, recommended to me uh, in another Discord chat, actually, was uh, Musa Diaby from Bayer Leverkusen. 77 rated, 22 years old, left-footed. Really quick, really good at dribbling. He sort of looks like Doku, but on the left. And that makes me very tempted to buy him. It does make me very, very tempted to buy him. Um, I'm not too sure yet. He's 70,000, which is basically all of our money. So let me know what you think about Diaby. Currently a D rating. We'll have to see uh, how his new rating comes out after the next update when I'm back off holiday. But yeah, left wing, right wing forward. Very similar to Doku. It could be a match made in heaven with the way I play the game.
Uh, next one recommended to look at is Oliver Skip from Tottenham, 21 years old, holding midfielder at 72 rated. Not bad at all, actually. Uh, Right-footed, looks pretty good C form at the moment, but yeah, good tight possession, low possession, lofted pass, ball control, tackling aggression, defensive engagement is all really good. Definitely someone I'm going to keep on my radar. Uh, cut behind and turn, sole control, one-touch pass, weighted pass, low lofted pass, blocker and fighting spirit as well. Definitely someone to keep on the radar in case we want to ever do like an English squad or under 21 and under squad or the Premier League squad or things like that. I think, uh, yeah, for 18,000, definitely someone to keep an eye on. And while we're at Spurs, Kulusevski was also recommended to me as well in another chat. So good, again, good ball control, decent speed, uh, D rating at the moment, but loads of levels of progression with 37. And look at that versatility is right mid, right wing, attacking mid, centre mid, defensive mid, left mid, holding mid, uh, sorry, defensive mid again, and then um, second striker and striker. So he really does have some things about him. Scissor feint, double touch, Marseille turn, cut behind, scotch move, long range, long range, one touch passing, through passing, and outside curler. Yeah, again, he could be someone to keep an eye on. He's very expensive at 64,000. But uh, yeah, he does look like he's going to be some sort of player. Imagine getting him on A form. It would be lovely. So moving away from Europe, I was also asked to go and have a look at Alvarez, the guy who plays for River Plate and has just uh, recently agreed that he's going to be moving to Man City. Uh, yeah, looks very, very good. 21 years old, right-footed, acceleration, kicking power, balance and stamina is all really good. Can play centre forward, second striker, right wing forward, right mid and attacking mid if needs be. Great offensive awareness, ball control dribbling is good, lofted pass, finishing, curl, all looking really good. Um, he is very expensive though. 43,000 GP for a 21-year-old who's not in form at the moment. I think if I hadn't have bought Darwin Nunes, I probably would have gone for Alvarez. But with the three strikers we've got in Vlahovic, um, Darwin Nunes and Skamaka, I don't feel there's a need for Alvarez at the moment. But we'll, we'll keep an eye on him and see what his form does. And staying in uh, Argentina and River Plate, actually, is uh, Fernandez, the box-to-box -box central midfielder, been recently linked to Man United in real life. But, uh, yeah, 20 years old, B rating this guy. So tight possession, low pass, lofted pass. He looks pretty good. My worry is he's never going to get into the midfield we've got. Like, he's going to need a lot of improvement to get in. And his cost of 17000 I think Skip gives you more of an overall sort of playmaker and better player than Fernandez for what 1000 GP more so again we'll keep an eye on him see what he does but B rating form is I think I just feel like it's gonna need a lot of progression to get him where we need him to be but uh yeah but anyway that's all the players that are recommended to me to go and have a look at if you want me to go and look at anyone else put it in the comment section below I'm always happy to go and have a look and uh yeah if I ever miss one out just keep leaving it as a comment I eventually will see it I do record these in advance sometimes so I will go back and look at and reply to all the comments I get and I will leave it there but we'll leave it there one game today thank you so much for watching and um, what a way to start division four off to a great win over someone that had an amazing team and Jeremy Doku does it again what a player great goal from Nunes we're playing really well yeah love it I'm just loving eFootball at the moment and it's great can't wait for the Master League to be honest but yeah thank you so much for watching I'll catch you in the next one for now I'm out cheers